Um, welcome back, I'm Kitty and today I want to talk to you about these two books. Um, it's a series um, of two books. The first book is called Once a Witch and the second book is called Always a Witch. This is the first book, this is the second book by Carolyn McCullough, which I think is her name pronounced. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> so, um, this one, the first book, I actually bought in London five years ago. The first and hopefully not the last time I've been to London. And I'm still keeping the boarding pass from the flight home in the back of the book. Um, and I don't know why. I do know why. For, you know, memories and stuff like that. Let's get into the plot. So our main protagonist is called Tamsin Green. She's 17, 17 years old and um, she's kind of the black sheep of her family because she, um, all of her family, um, all of her other family members are witches and have special talents, but she doesn't. On the day she was born, her grandmother foretold that she would be the most powerful witch of them all and a beacon for them all. But this didn't come true because she um, discovered that she didn't have any talents or she, she thought she didn't have any talents. So Tamsin is, I think, 17. Yeah, and she lives in the shadow of her almost perfect older sister, Rowena, who is a very powerful witch and who will, you know, kind of become the leader of the coven someday. So Tamsin um, always kind of wanted to be like her older sister and when a stranger wanders into her gran grandmother's bookshop, she um, and he asks for um, help to find a lo long lost family heirloom, she, um, she takes on that task and pretends to be Rowena. And then she soon realizes that her family is in a great danger. Um, and that's the plot of the first book. Now onto the plot of the second book and I'm not going to spoil anything, so you can keep on watching. There's one spoiler, there's time travel involved, involved, weird word, um, yeah, so, there's that spoiler. So Tamsin has to go back to 1880s New York um, to confront her ancient rel relatives with um, the, the th with, um, you know, the threat her family sees themselves opposed to. I can't form sentences today, that makes sense, it seems like. So, um, yeah, she wants to save her family, or in order to save her family, she has to go back to New York and she um, lives with the Knight family, disguised as a maid. The Knight family is kind of the... Um, enemy family from her own and um, yeah she discovers the dark and dangerous secrets of the night family so that was the plot of the second book now on to my thoughts um honestly i, I kind of liked it it's entertaining it's I, I mean i flew through it i mean i read these two books within a week and um, so that's that nice entertainment yeah, but um, maybe if you want to read it, you have to know it is YA and it hits very much on these YA beats. I always knew where the story was going. Um, so if, you, if you're not a fan of the YA genre, I don't think this is for you. Also, um, you know, the, the, the characters are very stereotypical. There's really nothing special about this book, but it's still good entertainment. <laughs> the writing's fine. No complaints, but it's also not the greatest and most beautiful writing in the world. Um, I did, however, find the first book, Once a Witch, better than the second book. Um, the second book is a little feels a little bit unbalanced and hasty and uh, in a let's wrap this up kind of way. And um, I didn't enjoy it as much. It's still you know, you fly through it 
it's a wrap up of the story. I think, however, that um, it's unnecessary to have, um, you know, two books. It could have easily been just one book and I don't know why there are two books, really. Yeah, but it's a nice and quick read. Um, I really don't have much to say about these books, except <laughs> except they are entertaining. And um, if you like YA, if you like a story about witches, especially with Halloween coming up, um, which has, you know, they have, the magic system is coherent and um, the time travel is done fairly well. There are a little, some things, you know, you don't have to, you can't think too much, too hard about it because then they st stop making sense. So, um, yeah, but <laughs> I don't know, I enjoyed it. It's nice. It's a quick read and you don't have to think much while reading it and um, it's fairly well written. So, there's that. Um, if you are interested in that concept of, um, you know, witches and, but you say, you know, I don't like YA, I can't stand the stereotypical YA novel, then I would suggest you check out, um, what is it called? The All Souls Trilogy by um, Deborah Harkness. Har Harkins? Harkness? I'll put it in the description below. Um, the first book is called uh, A Discovery of Witches, the second book is called Shadow of Night and the third book is called The Book of Life, I think? Yeah, um, I've read the trilogy, it's one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Um, it has witches in them, it has vampires in them, not Twilight style vampires, but real vampires. <laughs> There's actually in the last book <laughs> kind of a, you know, a... a um, there's a line the character says and I was like <laughs> that's kind of that that line kind of makes a little bit fun of the sparkly um, Twilight Vampires I find found that very entertaining um, but um, there's a kick-ass witch and time travel is also involved and um, very wonderfully written story very coherent very um, it's an adult form of this book I would say Except here are no vampires involved. Well, kind of, but not really. Anyways, um, yeah, I would suggest you check out the Old Souls trilogy. You can check out this one also, but if you don't like YA. So that was basically it. It's a very short video, <laughs> but there's not much to say. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy your day and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye!